Beef bulgogi. The South Korean dish is as easy to make as it is flavorful and versatile, and it can be as spicy as you like it. Now let's get to the ingredients. For the marinade, we're going to need some fish sauce, some white onion and green onion, soy sauce, chopped garlic, sesame oil, and of course, beef. In this case, we've chosen flat iron steak, and look at all that marbling. We're also going to need some neutral oil, some red pepper flakes if you choose to add additional heat, the tops of the green onions for garnish, some cilantro, gojujang, and lettuce because this is called bulgogi two ways. Now it's time to cook. In a hot pan, add your oil. Allow your oil to heat up until it is very, very hot, almost smoking. Once your oil is hot enough, add the beef. I could have dumped it all in at once, but I didn't want all of the marinade in this dish. I didn't want it to be too wet because I wanted some good browning on this beef. Arrange the beef in a single layer. Once you get it all in your pan, allow it to sit undisturbed. We've chosen to cook the meat in a pan today. Although it's very versatile, you can cook it in a wok or in an Instapot. Or under the broiler, you can also cook it on a grill. I wouldn't recommend a charcoal grill as the smoke flavor may overpower the taste of the gojujang and the meat. Now after about a minute, you can go ahead and turn the meat over. And as you can see, by not putting that additional marinade liquid in there, we got some really good browning on the meat. You don't have to worry too much about turning every single piece of meat over. The meat will continue to cook here for another couple of minutes. But do your best to get most of it. Once you've turned all of the meat over, allow it to sit on the second side for about 30 seconds. So after the meat has been cooking for about 30 seconds or so on the second side, go ahead and add the second part of the soy sauce. You can add any extra peppers that you're choosing to put in at this time as well. After about 10, 15 seconds, go ahead and add the goju jang. Now let's talk about gojujang for a second. Gojujang is a sweet and spicy Korean hot sauce. I was able to find gojujang in my local supermarket, but if it's not available in your local supermarket, it would definitely be available in an Asian market if you happen to have one near you. Once you add the gojujang, thoroughly mix it around to coat the meat. As with all sauces, there are a lot of varieties out there. Some are hotter than others, so you'll have to test various ones to find the spice of your liking. Personally, I find it more sweet than spicy, which is why I added the additional spice. Once the meat is completely coated, let the mixture sit for about two minutes. After about two minutes, you can see how much thicker this sauce has gotten. Now that you've cooked it, it's time to serve it, eat it, and enjoy it. You can see that meat shines. The meat is very tasty. It's perfectly done. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. I tend to make a very sticky rice. This was fresh rice, so it was a little difficult to get onto a spoon. But as you can see, the steak glistens, tastes really good, almost has a glaze to it. The sauce is spicy. This is bulgogi two ways. So if you're looking to cut back on carbs or just want a different texture or flavor with your meal, then we have lettuce wraps. Just fill the wrap with the meat, add a little additional sauce. As with any wrap or burrito, do not overfill it. Just roll it as a cigar, or you could fold it like a burrito. So once you bite into the wrap, you immediately get the, the cool and the crispness of the lettuce. And then you get the flavor of the meat 
and the sauce. It's a nice contrast and it tastes really good. A couple of good accompaniments to either of these dishes would be the addition of some kimchi, or in this case, I decided to make some pickled eggs. These eggs have been pickling for about five days. And as you can see, the pickling liquid has penetrated very far into the egg. And when you bite into it, you get the contrast of the creaminess of the egg with the bite and bitterness of the pickling liquid. Thank you for watching. Please check out our next video so we can continue our culinary journey together.